it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another MLB The Show 22 Franchise Rebuild. Now in today's rebuild, we've got our final AL East team and it's going to be the Toronto Blue Jays. This should be a fun one. If you guys are excited as I am, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And let me know down in the comments below some more video dish, my social in the description, our playlist down below containing other MLB The Show 22 Franchise content. Check out my channel in case you like content for me, TJP. And yeah, if you didn't see the rules uh, on your left of the video, make sure to go check those out just in case you need a refresher or if you've never seen a video like this before because I've been doing every single other video for MLB The Show 22 just like this. So we're going to keep that formula the same and get on to the gameplay. Into MLB The Show. So let's take a look at the lineups, the roster, the rotations, the things of that nature. So we got, we got Bo. <coughs> we got Bo Bichette. Uh, and then we got Ram uh, Ramiel uh Tapia, we got Vladimir Guerrero Jr., George Springer, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., uh, Teoscar Hernandez, uh, Matt Chapman, who they acquired, Reese McGuire, and then Kevon Biggio. Uh, yeah, pretty solid team. Like I've, I, it's they're they're a really good team. This is a really good ball club. Kirk uh, Jansen off the bench. Uh, Espinal is going to be there. Probably got Gabriel Moreno. Uh, We'll see what they do. We'll see what we do with Gabe. Just because, obviously, in real life, would we trade him? No. If you're doing a realistic build, would we trade him? No. But um, we'll see how he ends up progressing. We may look to move him just because, again, we have three seasons. Will he be ready in three seasons? Maybe, maybe not. Well, the only thing I might want to do is, uh, well, look at my pitching rotation. Uh, Gosman, Manoa. Uh, Barrios, Ryu, uh, that's pretty solid. Maybe we get another uh, pitcher. Uh, Kikuchi, you say Kikuchi. Uh, he's the Cooch. Anyways, um, yeah, the bullpen's pretty solid. I think we could maybe get another arm here. Jordan, Jordan Romano is our closer. It's pretty good. It's pretty. It's, it's a pretty good team. I mean, we could look to maybe get a couple other relievers. I mean, I don't know how good uh, Biggio is going to end up being. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if he ends up uh, playing okay up to up to speed. If not, we would definitely want to look to upgrade that second base spot, maybe at the deadline. But let's see if we can get like uh, another arm or so in the bullpen. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of some dead weight here. So Otto Lopez and Dexter Fowler for Will Smith. I know he's not. They're both all in one year contracts. But Dexter Fowler is not gonna be in the majors. Um, I mean, I don't think he's gonna be, and he's making 69 million. I'd rather pay. Will Smith, 13.3, he's a lot better, and will help out the bullpen uh, for this season. So that's a nice little upgrade there. Uh, I think that's the only move I might make. I think we're kind of going to keep the team the way it is and maybe like assess ourselves at the deadline, kind of see how we're doing. So I'm going to simulate to the deadline, and I'll see you guys from there. We're at All-Star Week. Uh, I meant to say All-Star Week, not trade deadline. But yeah, we're currently eight games under 500. So this team is kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, we're definitely underperforming. I thought it would be a little bit better. Uh, might have had some injuries, that might be why. Uh, just to double check. Yeah, we've had a lot of injuries here. Um, Guriel's hurt. Hernandez is out. Uh, Barris is out now. So, yeah, this is probably going to be a lost cost season. Uh, so, it's not a big deal. I mean, we still got, you know, another season, some more season after this. So, Bo's having a good year. Uh, Tapia is kind of not doing amazing. Uh, Vladdy is doing pretty good. Uh, 282 average, 29 home runs, 55 RBI. So, yeah, good season for him. George Springer, pretty solid year. Chapman, not hitting the ball that great. Um, you know, he's, he's kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, Reese McGuire, though, is doing pretty solid. Uh, uh, Biggio is doing okay. Could be doing a little bit better, but not too bad. Uh, Espinal has been hot as of late. And then we got uh, Gosuke Kato. In right field okay yeah uh this team is not as not ve looking very hot right now pitching rotation uh alec manoa i mean seven and nine isn't amazing uh gosman's doing is having a great year that i will say that uh ryu hasn't pitched that much so i'm assuming he's been hurt but he's doing pretty solid uh kikuchi mm, could be a little bit better and then we got nate pearson as well whose era is kind of high stripling Okay, Adam Simber's good. Richards, it's 0-7 somehow. Okay, 
Uh, Julian Merriweather's been hurt, uh, but he's pitched when he's pitched, he's been okay. Could be a little bit better with the ERA. Yumi Garcia, Will Smith is a solid, is do, is doing very good. Uh, and then Ramon, Jordan Ramon is kind of struggling a little bit. And Tim Meza is our, I guess he's our closer now. I don't know. We have like a bunch of people that can close the game, I guess theoretically. So, all right. Um, is this season kind of a lost cause? Yeah, in a way it is. But uh, let's just see what's out there. Maybe we can make a move. Uh, I would like to get another pitcher. I'd like to get an outfielder because we need one. So maybe we can we can turn it around and see if there's a move we can make. All right, I'm going to just deal with the White Sox. So we're going to trade away Kirk and uh, Palacios, and we're going to get back Eloy Jimenez. Um, haven't had him before. So we're going to do this trade with the White Sox, get Eloy because we definitely need some outfield help right now. So um, And then I guess in theory, you know, when Guriel comes back, you know, one of these guys could just be like a DH. Um, and then, you know, maybe we can look to move uh, Remo Tapia. I'm just going to do a small little trade with the with the uh, <clears throat> Nationals. So we're going to get Josiah Gray uh, for Remo Tapia. So we're going to do that deal because um, I feel like we don't really need Tapia. So and maybe Josiah could be a decent rotation piece for the team. So we're going we're gonna to have him on the squad. And, uh, yeah, he'll be just the fifth pitcher for this rest of the year. And uh, we'll kind of just go from there. So, yeah, um, I don't expect this to really turn it around in the second half of the year. But, I mean, you never know. So, uh, I'll see you guys at the uh, end of the season. Overall, really bad season for us. We went 77 and 85. I mean, I guess, we, you know, injuries kind of hit us a little bit. So, that, that definitely didn't help us out there. Um, look at that. We still have a bunch of guys that are injured. Uh, Biggio got hurt. Stripling got hurt. So, um, uh, that's not good that he dislocated his ankle. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this team, not that great. Uh, Bo ended up having a pretty solid season, though, Boba Chat. So, uh, and then we got uh, Lentigua, I guess, Rafael Lentigua. Uh, then we got Vladdy, who had a really good year. Eloy Jimenez had a good, very good year as well. George Springer was good. We got Gurriel Jr. back. He ended the season on fire. Tisco Hernandez, pretty solid. Chapman, uh, you know, didn't really hit the ball amazing. But um, I guess, you know, his fielding was probably pretty solid. So I'll take that, I guess. But, you know, I'd like to get that. You know, if you can get 240 out of him, I'd be happy. But um, Reese McGuire, decent year. I mean, for a catcher, you take that. Um, and then, yeah, I mean... You know, we got Gabe. We we we're gonna keep Gabe. We're not gonna trade Gabriel. We keep Gabe Moreno. We're gonna keep him around. He was pretty solid. I did trade uh, Kirk. If you guys saw in that trade, so he will probably end up being the backup catcher. Uh, Alec Manoa had ended up the season uh, on high note, which is like you know good to see. You know Jose Barrios was hurt, so that kind of just you know kind of a lost season for him. Kevin Gosman was good, very good. Uh, Ryu. I'll take it. It was pretty solid. And then Kikuchi, eh, not amazing. Um, but, uh, yeah, just looking at the rest of the team, the bullpen. Uh, Yumi Garcia was really good. Um, and then Tim Meza, uh, Tim Meza was uh, also pretty solid. I mean, 22 saves, we'll take that. We had a lot of guys going in and out of closing position. So we're just going to see who wins World Series and then go to the offseason. Uh, we've, got some, we've got some work cut out. So it's going to be the Dodgers beating the Yankees in the 2022 World Series. Good for them. All right, so salary arbitration. We got a ton of guys to offer arbitration to. So, obviously, Vladdy's going to be one of those guys. Bo's going to be another one of those guys. So, yeah, a lot of guys, a lot of arbitration. We're going to have a ton of money, so I assume. So, we're going to go. We're going to try to go big in free agency. Uh, we got some con uh, tending of the contracts. So, I'll, I'll uh, do all of that, and then we'll uh, get on the free agency. Free agency, this is where the fun, I guess, commences. So I'm kind of excited to see who we can offer here. I mean, I'll throw an offer at Taylor Rogers. Might as well. I usually don't go after um, big uh, relief pitchers. But sometimes I do get them uh, from time to time. So I don't know if I want to go for that big, like, Aaron Judge contract or even like a, like a Trey Turner. I, mean, I might offer Trey Turner, actually, but I feel like we have a lot of outfielders, so it doesn't really make sense. Trey Turner, I guess he could theoretically play second base. He'll play third. So, I mean, he could be a potential option. I don't know if I need him. 
Uh, I would rather get like a pitcher. So honestly, like an Aaron Nola would be pretty solid. So we get him. You kind of add him to the rotation. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe see if we can get some other guys to kind of just fill out the rest of the roster. So I'm going to see what moves uh, I can make and see what contracts people will accept. And we'll uh, show you guys once I make those moves. We picked up Aaron Nola. Pretty solid uh, pick up there. It looks like we actually, I got a prompt saying that we don't can't pick up any more uh, people on my team. Uh, so uh, Judge goes to the Giants. Cool for him. Uh, I don't know if I ended up signing uh chris bassett then or did we end up getting him i don't think we did uh it looks like no because i did offer him a contract i also did offer adam frazier but i i'm assuming then if we didn't get him uh nope no adam frazier then that's that's fine then okay so then we are we got we did our big move with uh with, with aaron nola i mean i guess theoretically speaking we could look to make a trade we could do that. We literally could do that. Um, do I want to do that, though? I'm going to look to see if there's any offers. I will look, but chances are I'm probably just going to end up uh, keeping the team the way it is. And we'll kind of just rock with uh, Biggio for one more season, see if he can uh, stay healthy. Because, uh, yeah, it was pretty decent last year. So, start of season two. I mean, the overall is looking incredible. The rankings, rather. And uh, let's take a look at the lineup. So... We got Bo at short, we got Biggio second, Guerrero Juniors at first with Jimenez, Springer, Guerrero Jr., Hernandez, Chapman, and McGuire. I think it's a good lineup. I think that's a good lineup. You got Jansen behind uh, on the bench with a Samad Taylor, a Fuentes, um, a Gabriel Moreno, a Lantigua. Okay. I mean, an Espinal. I think it's pretty solid. I think this team is... The lineup looking good, but now we got the rotation with Nola, Manoa, Barrios, Gosman, and Ryu. I think that's a really good starting five. Uh, we still got Kikuchi. I could have traded for Blake Snell. You guys tell me. Springer and Kikuchi for Snell. Is that a yes or a no? Because I had that offer from the Padres. I declined it. Because um, maybe I could have done that trade and then traded for like a center fielder. But I don't know. I, I, I decided it, it, we didn't I didn't think that I really needed it, so that's why I declined it. Will Smith, we still got him, so hopefully he can have a nice year. Uh, Jordan Romano, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited for the team. Uh, Amy Garcia had a really good season last year, so hopefully he can repeat that. I don't know if he will, but uh, this team's looking good. I, I think this team could be pretty solid. I don't think we're going to win 77 games. Well, we will. We'll win more. I, I, I believe we'll surpass that. I think we'll have a huge turnaround. I think this season, if everyone stays healthy, we're going to be one of the best teams in the MLB. At All-Star Week, we are 61-37. and 37, So nice turnaround so far. Eight games up against the Red Sox. So we are uh, pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Uh, we do have injuries, though, of course. Um, Hernandez is still hurt, but he'll be back by the time... Uh, he may not even miss. He may have only. He only. Well, he missed a few games, but yeah. He, so he'll he'll be okay. Chapman uh, is really not hitting the ball that great either. He's been hurt though. Torn groin. I think we might look to move on from Chapman. Um, he's a free agent, so I don't know. Maybe maybe by the deadline, maybe we just look to deal him. Just don't know if I want to deal with him. Uh, in terms of pitching rotation, let's just look at that first. Aaron Noah is pitching great. Love to see that. Manoa's been good. Barris has been great this season. Good to see that. Kim Gosman's been great. And Ryu's been uh, also very good. So, yeah, this rotation's looking great. Uh, Kikuchi's good. Uh, the bullpen, for the most part. Uh, Merriweather and Simber uh, could be doing a little better there, buddy. Uh, of course, Yumi Garcia's kind of regressed a little bit. Will Smith. Okay, I mean, I thought the bullpen would be a little bit better. It's not amazing. Uh, Tim Mazza, though, is now officially the closer, and he is uh, he's putting in that work, though. So, good to see there. Now, lineups, how we hidden. Bo's having a good, very good year. Love to see that from Bo. Uh, Santiago Espinosa has been fires of late, but he's not really a permanent option. Uh, Greer Jr., obviously Vladdy Daddy. I'm not going to say Vladdy Daddy ever again, but I just said it, and I said it, I think, twice. So, 
yeah, never again after this point. But he's having a good year. Uh, uh, Jimenez is okay. I mean, the average is a little bit low, but it's, he's still having a good year. Uh, George Springer is having a very, very good season. Obviously, uh, Sma Taylor is uh, playing right field right now because Hernandez is hurt, but that's fine because he's really not going to be hurt for that much longer. Uh, Guriel is having a good year. Uh, Jensen, not too bad. And then Biggio, okay, 245. Could be a little bit better, but... Uh, Reese McGuire, though, he's been good. Very, very good. Moreno, okay. All right, let's let's um, let's see if there's a potential move we can make now. I'm kind of curious to see if there's a trade we can make. Like I said, I can't trade Chapman. So if I can get a third baseman, I, I don't know if he'll... I, I'm going to simulate to the deadline. If he's not hurt, I'm probably going to move him. Otherwise, um... I'm going to just trade for a third baseman, and then we'll just let him walk. Do this trade with the Padres. So Matt Chapman, Yimmy Garcia, Lincoln Price to the Padres for Manny Machado and Austin Adams. So Austin Adams is going to be expiring, but could help out, bolster out that bullpen. And we're going to get Machado, who's having a really good season. And, uh, yeah, he's just a much better offensive player than Chapman. So... Um, yeah, we're going to do this trade with the Padres. Could have also got Blake Snell. Could have got, well, not also got Blake Snell, but I could have also thrown in, instead of uh, Austin, I uh, could have thrown in uh, Blake. But it is what it is. Uh, contract extensions, by the way. Uh, we do have some guys that are, are uh, eligible for arbitration. But we also have like a Hernandez. We have a uh, Ryu as well so i don't know if i want to extend them now especially ryu i don't know is he worth extending he might be i mean he's having a good year but we'll see how much money how much money does he want uh, he wants like a long-term deal i could probably do that honestly uh we'll see maybe i'll just wait till like the off season and same thing with uh hernandez um i might just wait until the off season to extend uh him so, yeah, we're just going to see him the rest of the season, and I'll see you guys at the postseason where we should make the playoffs. All right, so we won our division. We won 102 at 60, so I believe that's a 25-game turnaround. And we're taking the winner of the wildcard playoff game, which is going to be between Seattle and Houston, which is interesting. That means that uh, we're the only AL East team to make the postseason. Hmm. All right, let's take a look at the standings. Kind of just curious to see that. Really quick, yeah, we're the only team. So yeah, 102 wins, which was also the best in the MLB. Interestingly enough, um, just curious to see the injuries. Biggio is still hurt. Cool. Uh, Danny Jansen's hurt. That's awesome. Um, all right, lineups. So Bo, good year for him. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna get a better. We gotta get a second baseman for Biggio if he's just gonna keep getting hurt. Uh, Guerrero Jr., obviously, Vlad had a good, really good year. Uh, Jimenez had a nice season. He ended the season on fire. Machado was kind of cold, but he still ended up hitting 277, so we'll take that. He had 40 homers, so can't complain. Almost 100 ribbies. Springer, pretty decent year. Hernandez, not too bad. Guriel, all right. It, it's not amazing. I mean, Gabe Moreno, glad I didn't trade him. He's, he's uh, performing really well, so good to see that he's doing good. And then Reese McGuire. Is doing his thing out there. So maybe we move Danny Jansen if he is uh, not a free agent. Uh, I'd have to double check because I don't remember. But either way, uh, Aaron Nola, wonderful year for him. Uh, Alec Manoa was also, well, wonderful. <laughs> Jose Barrios, good year for him as well. Kevin Gossman might have won the Cy Young. Like, he literally might have won the Cy Young. Um, Ryu was also good. So maybe we do extend Ryu. I don't know. I mean, Kikuchi's here waiting. For his chance so who knows uh the bullpen and trevor richards i think he was a good uh had a good year uh austin adams was pretty solid uh will smith um 51 saves for tim so i mean the team is pretty good bullpen for the most part is pretty solid i mean there's a few like people that i hope i don't see but you never know but what i do know is this uh we are going to be taking on either seattle or houston that is what i do know so let's see who we're taking on. So game one's going to be against Houston. Garcia versus Nola. We win 2-1. to one. Game two, 
We win four to three. Can we win game three and sweep them? Yes, we can. And we're going to be taking on either the Angels or the Guardians in the ALCS. I'm excited. And it's going to be the Angels. All right. Nola versus Sandoval. Game one, we win four to two. Game two, we win six to five. Can we win game three? We win, we win game three. And we win game four. We're in the World Series taking on either the Dodgers or the Braves. Great. Fantastic. It's going to be the Dodgers. All right, Nola versus Bueller, game one. We win, four to two. Game two, we win 10 to one. Can we win game three? We lose. Game four, we lose. Game five, we lose. We win game six. Oh my God, can we win game seven? No. No. No, no, no. I, I, like, it's like the game knows. It's like the game knows. It, how do we go from not losing a single... I, by the way, we didn't lose a single... We won... We literally won nine straight games, lose three straight, win, and then we can't get the job done against Dustin May. Just unfortunate. So got to a game seven of the World Series and couldn't get the job done. But we got one more season, so maybe we can get it done uh, in our third and final season. Well, the only way to find out is to simulate, so I'll see you guys in the offseason. Did offer Ryu and Hernandez contracts. We've got a bunch of arbitration. We've got a bunch of tendering of the contracts to do. So I will be doing all of that right now and then getting on to free agency. Big signing. Jack Flaherty's coming onto the team. So we got him. Uh, we've reached our maximum roster size. So cannot sign any more free agents. Any outstanding other people wrong? Would I stop simulating? Yes, I would. Because I do not want to stop there. I really don't want to stop there. So we're going to look to make a couple trades here. I'm going all in. I'm going all in, guys. Um, so Biggio's going to end up getting traded. But for right now, I'm just going to trade a bunch of guys to free up some roster spots. And we're going all in on free agency and trading. All right, guys. This is essentially just a salary dump slash we're, we're, we're going to use Brandon Lowe to get our second baseman. So, yeah, George Springer. Yusei Kikuchi and Samad Taylor are going to go to the Rays for Brandon Lowe. So that's, I guess, one of the trades we're going to do here uh, for now. And I have to now offer some guys some more contracts. So we lost Hernandez. That's not good. He went to the Braves. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, now I don't have a right fielder. So I need a center fielder and a right fielder. Um, I'm still waiting on Otani and Urias. As you can see, I offered them. But we'll just simulate again, see if we get one of them, reach their maximum size. I like stop simulating. No. Yes. No. Okay, we got Otani. So that's solid. Like Otani can play center field. So holy cow. Um, all right, cool. Let's see if we can sign more people though. I'm not done yet. All right, I'm going to do this small little trade here with the Angels. So we're going to trade away Edward Cabrera, Josiah Gray, and Josh Fuentes to the Angels. We're going to get Raziel Iglesias, and we're also going to get Jordan Luplo, so he'll be, I guess, our right fielder. Not the end. It's not an amazing deal, but I will take it, and we bolster the bullpen a little bit. So um, I don't know if that means I can actually offer another person of contract, um, but I'm going to try to offer Urias, because why not? If it works... Then your boy... Well, actually, no. I'm not even going to do that. I'm actually just going to sign Cody Bellinger instead. And kind of just go from there. Instead of signing Urias. There's really no point in signing him. So we're just going to give uh, Bellinger a deal and see if he wants to come to the team. So we'll give him a contract. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, will it work? That is the question. I'm not really sure. Or will the game tell me I can't sign him? Urias goes to the Braves. Good for him. And I think we might have gotten Cody oh no we didn't all right I'll just see if we can get Cody Bellinger uh but if I do I do and then we're gonna have to move Biggio at the start of next season so we ended up getting Cody Bellinger awesome well you want to talk about going all in this is gonna be our third and final season and we've got Bo Bellinger Guerrero Jr. Jimenez Lowe Machado Guerrero Jr. Jansen Jordan Luplo in right field um, and then off the bench, I mean, Espinal, Biggio, Maguire. I mean, maybe we can keep, I mean, Gabriel, we got Gabriel Renner. I mean, maybe we could keep Biggio. It's not, not like I don't have to keep him, but I mean, 
we could. Th this rotation is disgusting. Like, I think I cheated, but I, I, for some reason, we're still not going to win the World Series. I have a feeling we're still not going to win the World Series. I mean, we have Otani, Nola, Manoa, Flaherty, and Barrios with Kevin Gosman as our relief pitcher. And he's been literally... Uh, he might have been... He might be my best pitcher, like, this entire video. So, the fact that he's not in the rotation... I guess he's... Whatever. You never know. <laughs> I mean, I, the, the bullpen, you know, we got Iglesias, I, it, it's crazy. This team is is ridiculously is ridiculously crazy. Um, I don't even think we can make, oh, no, we could make a trade. We could make a trade. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, we could make a trade. We could definitely make a trade. I'm going to look to see if we can get a better right fielder. Not a guarantee that we will, but if I can, then um, I'll be happy with that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do this trade with the Astros. This would never happen in real life, but it's fine. It's not meant to be realistic. Biggio, Luplo, Barrios are going to the Astros for Alvarez, Tucker, and Framber Valdez. I think we declined slightly in our pitching, but I mean now we have three left fielders. So quite frankly, um, I don't need uh, honestly like I don't need Guriel or Jimenez really, realistically speaking. If I could get if I can get, like, another pitcher back, like, I would be pretty happy. I don't know if I can, but I don't even know what I need. Like, what, what would I, li literally, what would I need? Like, imagine I just want to get, like, I could literally just get Garrett Cole. For Jimenez, Gurriel Jr., and Montanez, and I just get Garrett Cole. From the Yankees, do I do I do this? Sure. <laughs> okay. If this team doesn't win the World Series, this is the biggest failure. In this is just the biggest failure. If this team doesn't win the World Series, um, yeah, this team's got to win. Like the rotation's disgusting. It, it's literally disgusting. I mean, the only thing I might do is maybe trade for another bat. Like, maybe that's where Val Valdez would come in. But, honestly, this team better win the World Series. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the All-Star break. Well, we're 77 and 21. Um, yeah, like, this team is ridiculous. Um, Bo is hitting amazing. Kyle Tucker is amazing. Guerrero Jr., Alvarez, they're playing pretty solid. Um... Brandon Lowe is having an amazing year. Machado's been on fire as of late. Colby Belger's been great. Jansen, okay. I mean, really, the only thing I might need is another bat. Like, if I wanted something to fill the DH hole. I mean, Moreno has been great. I'm so glad we kept him. Um, Otani, when he hits, it's just... It's amazing. It's incredible. So... Rotation. Otani is amazing. Aaron Nola's been great. Manoa's been great. Flaherty, Garrett Cole, they've been all great. Uh, Gosman's been great this entire video. Framer Valdez has been great. Literally have seven starting pitchers. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, and the bullpen, for the most part, is pretty good. So, I'm not making a move. This is just going to be the team. Uh... If we don't win the World Series, I'm going to be so upset. But I feel like I kind of cheated this video a little bit. I think I went a little overboard. <laughs> okay. 126 and 36. I don't remember what the best record I ever had was in MLB The Show 22 or 21. But this is, this is definitely the best I've had so far. So... I mean, by far, we have the best team. Like, I, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, you guys can see the lineup. The team was just... There's just so many guys on this team that hit the ball. So, uh, we do have an injury, though. We do have injuries. Cody Bellinger's hurt. So, that could be interesting. Um, and it looks like... Cody Bellinger tore his ACL. That's kind of unfortunate because he's having a good season. But other than that, nobody else is hurt, so... Alright, makes it a little bit more of a challenge. Pitching rotation. You know, Tani was amazing. 
I mean, everybody here was just amazing. Kind of broken. Uh, Gosman, Valdez in the bullpen. Kind of just broken. Uh, and yeah, you guys just, if you really want to take a look, it, it it's really incredible how good this team was. But at the same time, what do you expect? You have an unbelievably talented people on this team. Of course, it's, w w what do you expect? So by far, we had the best record in the lobby, by far. And we're taking on the Angels. Game one, we win. Game two, we win 17-1, to and we win game three. Nice. So we're going to the ALCS, take it on Cleveland. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. Game four, we win. So we're going to the World Series again. And it's going to be the Atlanta Braves. Freed versus Otani, game one, we lose. Game two, we win. Can we win game three? We win. Can we win game four? Game five? Yeah, we win the World Series. I was mad... All of those Game 7s that I got to in the past three or four videos have been building up to this point. Literally to this point where I'm just like, alright, I need to just... I just need to just go all in. So that's what happened. Um, so we got the World Series. That was the goal. We completed the goal, got the World Series in three seasons. So I'm happy with that. So... <laughs> All right, um, all right, guys, let's just go to the full screen and close up the video. I right, will hope you enjoyed this uh, rebuild. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below some more video days. Check out my social channel description. There's also a playlist containing other MLB The Show 22 franchise content. Check my channel, Keys Like Content for me, TJP. So in the next MLB The Show rebuild, we got the NL. Final NL East team's gonna be the Nationals. So we'll see if we can get a win with them. World Series win and kind of just go from there. And yeah. I'm excited to see what holds. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Have a great night. See you soon. And peace.